Hello and welcome to Frank Beamer Country as Bradford Bobcats take the hour-long bus ride down to Carroll County, Virginia to take on the Cavaliers in the blue and silver. Your Bobcats are rolling on the season 6-0 and to start and they have another road test this evening. Second down and about 10 and a half yards to go back at their own 43-yard line. Seven minutes on the scoreboard here in the first quarter. Clock rolling, 0-0, Radford and Carroll County. In the pistol, Cox hands off the tape, and a devastating blow by who other than Charlie Davis in the backfield. It's a loss of four, and the Cyclones starting out early tonight. Second and ten, trips out wide to the right, Marcel again to the left. Taking the snap, David gets the call on second and ten. Makes a few moves, finds a gap in a crease. Throws the shoulder, still gives a stiff arm, and he's got just enough for a first down. A 10-yard carry that moves the chains for a wrap for a first down. Again, in the gun. David in the backfield as well. Two rounds to the right, to the left. A quick a pass over the middle for Max Knipe, who makes a little quick cut. And he's got, again, just enough for a first down. A 10-yard slant route over the middle moves the chains for a wrap for it again. Landon launches the middle. It's wide open, park up the five, and he scores! Touchdown! Red Town, check that, it's Marcel Baylor who was left wide open, and that's the last man you want to leave wide open on the Radford offense. 11-12 on the clock, 7-0 Radford leads, fourth down and two at the Carroll County 40. Cavaliers going for a pistol formation, Elijah Cox stands behind him, Josh Tate. Tate gets the call, Tate goes forward, Tate still pushing, and he's stonewalled, stopped about a yard short in the black and gold, stand strong on fourth down to take over on down. At the Carroll County 40-yard line. Rolling out to the right. It's Max Knight who springs loose down to the 10. Five dives in. Touchdown, Radford. A little screen pass to Max Knight, and he goes to this. 10-19 on the clock, and Radtown leads 13 to nothing. For the first time tonight, two one outs to the left for Elijah Cox. He rolls out to the left looking to throw. Elijah throws it over the middle. It's intercepted. Max Knipe was waiting right there, and he fed the bread man at the 30-yard line. Two outs to the left, two to the right. Landon looks back to the left for Marcel on a screen pass. He's got a few blockers, makes a move out to the far sideline, gets another block, and he's front loose. There he goes, tiptoeing the sideline, couldn't hold his balance, and he's in the Carroll County territory at the 44-yard line. Landon hikes to hide, hands it off. David again. Gives a little step on and all spins out of the backfield. And there he goes down the sideline. David puts on the Jets, and he's got a first down for a gain of 12. It looked like he was stopped at the line of scrimmage, just spun his way out of everybody's arms, and just sprinted for a first down. Shotgun snap. Landon looks over the middle. Now wait. Patiently watches over the middle for Parker. He's caught at the five. Number five brings it down to the five and falls forward to the three. First and goal for the three. Hand off to David. He just... Walks in untouched. Touchdown, Radtown with 6.02 to go in the second quarter. Radford takes a 20 to nothing lead. Two minutes, clock rolling. Logan Tickle back to punt this ball away. He stands at his own 28. It's a high snap, steps back. Bell kept up Cardi. Parker Palo swatted away. Scoops up by Dawson Martin. Dawson Martin has a convoy for him. What a step for Dawson. But he's caught from just the ankles at the eight-yard line. Oh, my. He absolutely pounded that man into the turf. But just a toe-string tackle at the eight. And landing in the gun. Read option. Now drops back to pass it. He's blitzed and steps out to the 15. Rolling back to the 20. Flips it to the end zone for Luke Woodard, who catches it easily. Touchdown, Radtown. Luke Woodard wide open in the back of the end zone for his first touchdown reception of the season. Marcel motion from left to right. Landon drops back to pass. Marcel. Uh, Landon unloads to the left on a screen pass to David, who slipped in the little dirt, and now skippers up the sideline at the 40, starting down the field in the 35-3, gets to the side of the 20, 25-10, tripping away from defenders, five, touchdown, Red Town. David Woodward made nothing turn into something unbelievable in the first play of the second half. He goes 51 yards to the house to tie Kenny Orderman's passing touchdown for Landon Clark. Nichols stands back at his own 15. Perfect snap this time. He gets it away. Just barely. The ball is caught at 35. It was a low punt. A beautiful stiff arm. 
where the Bobcats by Sam Hendon Barani, and he takes it down to the 15. I've never seen something like that before. Down to the 17 with 9-10 on the clock. Landed the gun. Two left, two left, two to the right. Quick screen pass to Parker Frey, who bounces it outside of the far sideline. He's at the 10. Shoots it back inside at the 5. Extending the, for the pylon. Is he in? Is he in? Touchdown! And there it is. Record in history is made in Carroll County. Touchdown, Redtown. A 17-yard pass from Landon Clark to Parker Prelude to break the single-season touchdown record. Landon Clark is sitting at number 29 tonight with his fifth passing touchdown of the game. Well, that will do it here in Carroll County, Virginia. Radford moves on to 7-0 and for the first time since 2002. 41-12 is your final score here in Hillsville, Virginia. And as always, good night. Go Bobcats. God bless.